Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Comedian MTG. My name is Ian, and with me today, I have a guest, which I haven't had in a while. Uh, introducing Scoots. Scoots, say hey. Hi, everybody. I'm Scoots. <laughs> so, Scott is here today from Eminence Gaming, which you may see a, uh, a logo from in the background of my screen right about here. Uh, Eminence Gaming is the new hotness on the scene, and I'm just bringing you this video today because... We haven't had a, a shakeup of this level for the CEDH tournament scene <laughs> in a considerable amount of time, basically since the start of Monarch Media. And this yeah. is my, well, I guess tier one con too, right? But like, it's it's not often we get a group dedicated to the, the uh, you know, tournament scene for CEDH specifically. So I brought Scoots on as one of the many members of this team, uh, many competent Really awesome members of this team, and I'm just so excited to bring this to everyone at home today. And uh, Scoot, so why don't you do a little introducing of yourself and, and kind of tell the people what your role in the team is. Yeah, so first of all, thank you for saying I'm competent. My <laughs> ego has grown one size. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm Scoots. Uh, I, uh, in this capacity, I am the uh, the stream lead for Eminence Gaming, which Very means cool. I'm the... The lead caster and the person uh, behind the scenes when uh, the tournament coverage gets going. Uh, mm -hmm. You might also know me from the Mind Sculptors and Who Brewed This and the Late Nights podcast and yada yada yada. I do a lot of things, but Eminence yeah. is is my big uh, my big iron in the fire right now. The Eminence team is like top notch, and uh, I'm I'm so lucky to be joined by one of my longtime friends, uh, Jamaican dude. Uh, Ashani from Playing with Power mm -hmm. in the in the booth for this event. He's my cool. my my co-host, and we have lots of plans for you. Uh, some content <laughs> before the stream, some 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 uh, some fun streams coming about tournament etiquette, maybe, and lots of things. And then yeah. uh, I guess I can just go through the team here. Uh, oh, Fonzie's our lead designer. Mm -hmm. uh, he made all those lovely card images you're looking at now, okay. uh, and. He is responsible for many of the graphics uh, on on the website and in the in the Twitter posts that we do. Perfect. Speaking of Twitter, uh, that is mostly run by our chair, our director, Mike Bonney, who is uh, formerly the director of DDM Gaming, who mm -hmm. put on a pretty large mm -hmm. tournament in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, before uh, the old uh, the old COVID. Yes, that went before out. <laughs> the old the COVID. Yeah, <laughs> Mike's our Mike's our director, our co-director, mm -hmm. our finance man behind the scenes is uh, Koi Vito of Marchesa fame, uh, the the Magda the oh, Magda pilot himself. Yeah, I mentioned to Shani. I mentioned. Well, I'll, I'll go further in depth into Ashani. Ashani's from Playing with Power. You know Ashani. On top of being from Playing With Power and, and being a wonderful CEDH mind, he's also been my co-host on several uh, tournament casts before. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just so excited that I have someone that I have such good rapport with in the yeah. booth with me. People have told me they they miss it, and I'm so glad to be back at it. We've got uh, Mikey Hollihan is our head TO, and he has TO experience with um, some other tournaments and... Uh, he is just a ferocious, hardworking, mm -hmm. behind-the-scenes guy who yeah. is just nailing everything and planning for every eventuality and just crushing everything. I can't, I cannot say enough nice things about Mikey. We have Z Rob Zane, the father of Tropical Malcolm. I guess it's <laughs> an honorific we can give Zane, but he's our head developer and he is helping with TO stuff. He's writing our custom software he made our website oh, he does wow. work behind the scenes yeah. he's like he's he's a very he's working so hard and he's he's hidden so i want to celebrate him a little extra the stuff that he's doing if yeah. you like the website if you you're gonna love the the matchmaking code you gotta give props to zane yeah um gosh i blame max is our i had to remember max's handle i'm just been referring to them as max so i blame max is our is our head judge uh he's a mm -hmm. certified l2 cool, Very uh, cool he's from the new york city area i think okay uh he's run tournaments before he's judged C big cdh tournaments before uh at rip and ship gaming which i think is the the store that he's from and then we have sertar seth is an assistant judge mm -hmm. uh and there's more assistant judges coming i just yeah. those are the two guys that are active right now i mean that's pretty much the whole team but uh lots of lots of great minds on it lots of experience on it yeah and uh i'm yeah i'm super jazzed about it i think it's uh i think it's basically the dream team yeah so it's like 
it, absolutely an insane team of people working on this. I'm very excited to uh, see this group come about. So for those who don't know, Mikey and I have been friends for quite some time in this community, and uh, we met through through Braden back in the day, back when I was doing CEDH cast stuff. So I've known Mikey mm-hmm. for quite some time. Um, and for those who don't know, on just like a, a professional TO level, Mikey was the one who ran the first Founders Cup. Mikey was the one who ran several of the Playing With Power tournaments, uh, assisted in several Monarch events. So like, you know, people with a lot of experience coming into this. I mean, you and Jamaican have been casting for God knows how long in the CEDH context, right? Like, you guys yeah, were doing the original time. time twisted tournaments. You guys did, yeah, five years, I think. Yeah, at this point. like, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. N- no shortage of experience coming into this. This is not like some Joe Schmoes off the street who are just trying to like jump in and be like, yeah, we can run tournaments. Like, these are people who yeah. been, know what the hell they're talking about and you know, finding and doing their own thing together. With with really cool people so very exciting stuff so out of of time of recording there are still so we'll, we'll talk about punt city i guess i'm gonna switch yeah. to the graphic over here so as you can see i'm gonna click the view events and upcoming here is this beautiful graphic you can see on screen behind me uh it is the punt city phoenixville tournament 39. 39 tickets remaining. Okay, very cool. This is exciting stuff. I mean, what was the original cap? I don't remember. Uh, the original cap was 128. So Wow. So, yeah. so already 80-ish tickets yeah. sold to the Disney Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, we're already, yeah, I mean, we're already almost 90 tickets deep, which is, That's like, the, wild. the reception from the community has been crazy. I yeah. think we announced this, like, three weeks ago yeah it's huge <laughs> yeah yeah i was very proud to be the the first ticket sold <laughs> uh, yeah absolutely. It, it's just so freaking cool so it's so let's talk about this pun city event right it's coming yeah. up at the end of august yep august um, 27th 28th and this is y'all's like premiere event i guess right yeah i mean this is this is the first inaugural hopefully uh event and hopefully there's more after that but uh i mean i have i have nothing but high confidence that this yeah. event will go swimmingly and we'll have tons of events mm-hmm. after that yeah this is our this is our first event it has an enormous prize pool it yeah. has like side events it's fully proxy friendly because yeah. it is in a hotel yes which instead is very of cool. A yes. game store, yeah. Because uh, I know a lot of a lot of the I hate using this word discourse uh, related to proxies in competitive EDH tournament settings has been, well, a, a game store is never going to let us in the door if we I, are allowing proxies. And y'all said, well, we don't need a game store. Goddamn, we don't need a game store. <laughs> we, I, we will have vendor partners at the event, and right. they are game stores, and they will happily sell you things, and they're attending happily, like they're yeah, they're they're gassed to come because like we've right. already sold 89 tickets they're yeah. guaranteed i honestly not to start discourse but i honestly think that like game stores would be more receptive if people asked yeah uh, yeah but it is a fully proxy friendly tournament all the proxies have to be color and be magic artwork but if right. it, it, for dual lands it can be like the vintage masters artwork that's yeah. fine yeah the prize pool is huge and i gotta thank our sponsor moxfield yep for adding to our prize pool in a pretty major way right right it was originally a 2k prize pool and with sponsors and stuff it's up to 3k right now which is for for a premier event from any degree to to be up at a three thousand dollar prize pool yeah uh, it's kind of insane right yeah (laughs) it's wild yeah it's wild and like from from uh like player feedback in our discord server we added like Popper side events. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. added, uh, I think, um, sealed uh, pre-con side events Very like fun. fill and fire. Yeah. If you want to do that, and we have the the main obviously, and the thing that excites me is we have a ton of space. We have basically the run of the entire hotel lounge and bar as well. Wow, cool. Uh, cool. The, the bar will be open. The yeah. lounge will be open. There's uh, space. You like you can. There's tables in the lounge yeah. to play casual pickup games with your friends. That's cool. And, uh, I, and I love the yeah. the fact that like I I have played in in smaller CEDH tournaments before and stuff like that where it's like you scrub and it's not a GP so there's nothing else you can yeah, do. There's nothing to do. Yeah. But that's not the case here, and especially for a two day event, which this is, it's nice to know that if you know someone sticks around for day two, beefs it in the round five, they can still you know c- go hang yeah. out, play popper, do some sealed stuff. Like it's that's pretty awesome. 
I mean, the the allure of it, right, is that if you if you don't make it to day two in the event, you can put together a pauper deck for 70, 80 bucks. Right, yeah. So you can, from the vendors on hand, yep. put together a pauper deck and then play in the pauper the Absolutely. next day. Like, which is which is very cool. I'm yeah. I'm super jazzed about it. So we heard this introduction of, of 3K worth of prizes. So do you want to go into yeah. more details with that? It's good. Yeah, I'd love to. I'll, I'll send you this. I'll send you this link with the information, and then I'll I'll talk about it here. So, um, the prize pool, uh, is massive. Like mm-hmm. if you if you top sixteen, you guarantee a hundred dollars. Great, because I've been uh, in some very top heavy uh, tournaments before. Yeah, it's like top sixteen. It's like you did great. You don't get shit for it. <laughs> you get nothing. Yeah. yeah. If you top yeah. sixteen, you get a hundred dollars. So if you top sixteen, you profit on your event entry which is crazy and then second through fourth get guaranteed 300 and then the winner takes home 1000 us dollars this is not uh uh, no one's screwing around here (laughs) no no it's 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 like yeah it's heavily backed and and uh, you we've we've had some prize support sponsored by moxfield and It's crazy that they were that they were so so generous to yeah. to add that kick in the pants to the prize pool. And uh, as I understand it, I think uh, someone from Moxfield will be at the tournament. Oh, so very cool, very cool. I'm uh, super excited about that too. I think I think it's Harry. I think Harry is is, is usually local. Harry's seen sure. to, to yeah. be the one at the tournaments. I would assume comparatively. Yeah, I know I know Harry resides in our. Uh, in our admin discord for the eminent stuff he just kind of sits there and mike tags him occasionally so uh, <laughs> yeah i that's think awesome. he's gonna be there that's so cool so so yeah. let's talk about like the founding of eminence how did how did it kind of come about mikey hollahan and uh mike bonnie and zane z rob got together and they thought that there was a better way forward with tournament organization yep uh, they wanted to a have inclusive spaces be love that proxy friendly yep. and 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 c run to like run to a degree of of, of uh, perfection that people would notice yes like yes um, professionalism i'd say yeah professionalism right? is the word yeah absolutely like like eminence started with uh those three and they laid a lot of groundwork and then they started bringing in other people like mm-hmm. like me i was added i think i was like the sixth the fifth person yeah Maybe sixth, but uh, yeah, they started. They started just finding like talent from all over tournament, tournament entrants, tournament winners like Koibito, yeah, Marchesa, yeah, uh, and then uh, Zane has top sixteen and top four yeah, tournaments. Yeah, he's done a bunch of and, stuff. He won the yeah. first playing with power tournament, I think, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. So they just started adding big CEDH minds to the team and yeah. and here we are. And so the inception was I think born out of a desire to have a, a better CEDH tournament. Just yeah. put on the best one possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean it's 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 a crew that's willing to do it, right? So <laughs> but, I mean but the the fact that this is the development of a CEDH tournament series that is IRL and still hundred percent proxy friendly. Like that it's just yeah. not a thing that has been done before, really, to this scale, especially <laughs> like. Yeah. Um, do you have any can you can you say any of the vendors that are coming? Can you confirm any of those yet or no? I can give no inside baseball already that there gotcha. isn't a there is an announcement coming okay. in the in the near future. Yeah. As I understand it from yeah. uh, from Mike, but we yeah. are in an effort to uh, have like a fair play between the vendors. We're not announcing anyone early. Totally We're going to announce yeah. everyone at the same time. Yeah. And I think the the cool thing of, you know, you want to know any of these updates, you at home in the audience, uh, and you don't want to rely exclusively on this video. Makes sense. <laughs> Go, I will leave the list link to their Discord in the description of this video. I will leave the link to their Twitter in the description of this video. You want to see all the stuff? I follow them. I'm in that Discord. Go there. Yeah. Find that space, right? Um, we're 100% transparent about yeah. Yeah. Everything. So if you want information, you just go into general on the mm-hmm. server and ask and ask the question. Yeah. And our director, Mike, will answer you himself, mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. which is which has been really incredible to see. The guy works overtime talking to <laughs> talking to people and vendors. And, and he's the, genuinely just the, like one of the nicest <laughs> people I've ever met. He just he's so happy to just talk to you about anything like <laughs> I, I woke up to like 
600 new posts in the CEDH <laughs> discussion channel between yeah. Mike and this other guy. So yeah, yeah, Mike, they're 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 all about it. Just ask any questions you got, and they'll get answered. Very 100%. cool. Very cool stuff. All right, is there anything from the content side that you're excited about specifically? From the seeing as that's your your forte. Yeah. So it it is um. It is the first time for me casting a live event, which is very cool. Wow. Uh, so I've, cool. I've cast several remote events, but in person, this, this is the first time. So yeah, yeah. I get to use all the camera gear, all the audio gear. Cool. I get, to, I'm going to try and roll in. Like we have, we have fairly big plans, like yeah. talking to, to, <laughs> to some things that I'll like let out earlier is we're going to talk to tournament participants. We're going to, Talk to uh, notable community members, see if they want to come on and and uh, and guest for a little bit on the stream. Yeah. But we're going to be live for 10 hours on the first day, I think, and <laughs> four on the next day for the, like the the sixth round and then top four or whatever, right, top 16. Right. It's going to be hopefully people that you recognize, names that you recognize. Yep. Uh, me and Ashani with our usual brand of banter, which people <laughs> tend to like. Yeah. We're going to have talks about CEDH tournament etiquette and talks about how to survive at a 10 hour long <laughs> day one Yo, round so of true. Oh my five gosh. rounds because it's 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 hard. It's yeah. hard. I'm super excited to get all that running. It's it's going to be so crazy uh, doing in-person interviews. I'm, I'm trying mm -hmm. to find if you've ever seen Most Extreme Elim Elimination Challenge. Uh, I will be recruiting a Guy Ladouche at the event to, to talk to people. I'm I'm very excited. So it sounds like I mean y'all are not holding anything back when you're going for this event, right? That's <laughs> no, we're, we're we're pretty all in on it. That's <laughs> and, so uh, cool. And, and from what I understand with the attendance so far, things are already looking great for part two coming anytime soon, right? That's what we're hoping. That's what yeah. we're hoping. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, I yeah. I can't I can't say with a hundred percent certainty. Totally. I do not things things have gone really well. We're up to eighty nine tickets sold. We're looking to sell out the rest. We've got months to sell out the rest. Like we've got yeah. two months yeah. until the event. And if it doesn't sell out, we'll we'll sell in person entry. Mm -hmm. We have people coming from all over the country, as yeah. I understand it. I've personally talked to people Utah, Tennessee, maybe California, mm -hmm. uh points east like Florida, Alabama. So uh, I'm super excited to see people from all over the country come to some town in Pennsylvania for <laughs> for this yeah. for this CEDH event. I'm yeah. so excited, but but the thing is, we're ready for you. We're yeah. ready for you to come because we, we set it up in such a good, such a nice area. There's mm -hmm. a movie theater, like I think two blocks away. There's bars, there's restaurants, there's a discounted hotel rate if you want to book yes. before like we're we're ready for you we set it up for you uh, yeah that's a huge thing that i think that we just kind of like flew over there is that y'all have set it up with the hotel right for people to stay in and yeah get a discounted rate which is super great obviously because that's yeah. one of the hardest parts of going to these live events yeah so the normal rate on the hotel i think was between like 279 and 350 a night but our our roommate is very much better than that yeah a yeah. lot better than that that's if you sweet. go to the pun city uh, event discord. page yep. and yeah, the, yeah. Event page. the yep. discord or the event page you can see our hotel blocks and it, the rate is much better than that i'm staying in the hotel myself so yeah yeah super, it's super exciting stuff super happy about that that's uh that was that was like a that was a big get there's a limited amount of rooms left if you want to stay in them go yeah. fast yeah i i think this is just for me personally this is just a big thing because we really haven't seen another tournament group come out in a really long time and especially not one that's willing to put the investment into the first event even with tier one con they had these like webcam events as qualifiers and obviously they had to pull people from around the world during covid and we're not technically out of that yet but y'all have just really doubled down <laughs> and and it's already clearly paying off with the attendance records right so like I, i'm very excited to see this event and it's so nice to know that everyone who's showing up that no one has to worry about not owning a time twister, you know, like yeah. that is as much as I am like proud to say I own 99% of the cards that I own the, yeah. the actual stress I thought about financially about trying to buy a card like that. Like yeah. that's not a problem with this event. It's not, and this is a premier level event. Y'all are putting premier money on the table, but taking away the, the ridiculousness that is just 
the natural market of these cards and it's not yeah you know it it, it reserve list stuff is such a detriment to cedh unfortunately right like it's so cool to be able to play with all these awesome cards all this powerful magic yeah and, but the amount of like i was talking about this in my discord the other day someone brought up the reserve list and i was like do you know how much better it would be for me as a creator if i could just say here's this format let's i wish people could play more of it you know yeah yeah, and it doesn't have to be a discourse thing, and here you are creating this high level event where it isn't a problem, and that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm not I'm not speaking on behalf of the whole organization here. I'm sure. speaking on I'm speaking on behalf of myself, but I think that gating the EDH behind wallets is a thing that people do because they don't want to play against fully powered decks, mm-hmm. and that is like. That's a harsh thing to say, maybe, but I don't. I don't believe that that financially getting people out of playing in in these tournaments is is a wise move. Yeah. And I I'm super happy that right at the inception, right at the founding, we all agreed yeah. this this tournament would be proxy friendly. Mm-hmm. Having flown with proxyless CDH decks before. Yeah. Oh, it's so the, stressful. The, oh the stress God. is so high, right? <laughs> like, even if it's just not on a financial yeah. base, like, you bring your Proxilus CDH deck, and they made me take every card out of every sleeve. Oh, God. Like, they thought, because they, if you, I don't know if you know this, but if you scan a deck oh, box it looks full like of a cards, it just box. looks like a yeah. Yeah. brick of explosives. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they 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 were like they looked at my desiccant packets in my deck box and yep. they're like, "What are these?" I was like, "It's to keep the cards not bendy." <laughs> um, so I, like flying, yeah, yeah. Flying, flying to with, the Richmond event I was if, just at. I had a TSA yeah. agent pull out and thumb every single deck I brought, mm. and it was the most agonizing 15 seconds of my entire life <laughs> yeah I, I mean and who wants to fly with thirteen thousand dollars worth of magic nah, cards right like, <laughs> not me. so so <laughs> yeah. order your whole deck off of a site that does uh mm-hmm. play test cards yeah bring that instead mm-hmm. leave your twister at yeah. home mm-hmm. uh bring decks for your friends yeah like <laughs> don't don't bring your don't bring your reserve list cards you don't have to you can if you want to i'd love to see your judge promo guy as cradles yeah. and all and that but you don't have to mm-hmm. and that's the cool thing so like the other thing is and i was talking to mikey about this so this is not me trying to misquote you on this or anything but a lot of the vendors i know he's been talking to have been people who are like hey we know cdh players on the other hand on the opposite side of this conversation we're talking about right now we know y'all yeah. like your shiny ass cards. So these are people exactly. who are going to come and they're like, hey, the, the pro proxy event's fine. But we also are aware the other half of the community are the whales who are like, yo, what's up with that yeah. foil cradle, though? <laughs> yeah, so so that's been that's been the focus in hunting down vendors yeah. is vendors who can bring reserved list, uh, chase foils, yeah. that uh, cards that people are looking for. The The big thing that triggered that was, I think, Mikey went to an event and the vendors there just had no foil cards. So that that's what people want. People want to buy foils. Yeah. So people want to buy chase cards. So yeah. it's, yeah, I'm super happy about that too. Whatever side of the equation you're on, the whales are the person who proxies their entire deck. We're happy to have you. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. I'm, I'm just genuinely so stoked. Like, like obviously on a personal level, uh, I consider myself good friends with a large portion of the staff here, right? So, like, me doing this video here today is as much to hype my friends up as it is as much to bring the community what I think is something that has just not been done before, right? Like, as I mentioned, everyone else tried to put their toe in the water first. This event has said, <laughs> balls deep, double down, yeah. let's go, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yep, yep, we're, yeah, yeah, we're a gas pedal to the floor for sure, yeah. and uh, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Well, Scoots, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me, friend. Yeah. It's, I, I so appreciate your time and yeah. giving me a chance to talk about this thing that i love is yeah. it's so great i appreciate it hell yeah man is there anything else we want to shout out right before we leave today i think the only thing i'll say is again reiterate get your tickets yeah get yeah. your tickets now like, 39 get, left friends there's, there's 39 <laughs> left and, yeah. and uh uh we've been our media push has been very big we mm-hmm. got we're putting our faces out there to yeah. push this thing like in full force right now so uh, I anticipate them selling out yes. in the next few weeks. Uh, tops, 
uh, if we sell, if we continue at the rate we're going, I think they'll be sold in uh, like 20 days, yeah. right? So that makes sense. please buy your tickets now. Mm -hmm. And then once, if you do and you want to say hi to me, send me a message because <laughs> I, I want to talk to you. I want to yeah. talk to you at the event. That's the thing that I got to stress the most is that like if you see – someone if you hear like if you hear comedian is at the event right because he's gosh probably the biggest name in cedh i know if you hear that he's at the event well go say hi be be friendly be approachable it's a it's a time to go see people yeah. our covid guidelines are strict everybody's vaccinated mm -hmm. we're following all rules all, all laws and rules for the municipality everyone will be vaccinated vax cards are checked at the door please be sociable please say hi yeah. It's been so long since everybody's had a chance to see each other and hug <laughs> yeah. each other. Like that's that's what this is about. That's why we're going so hard. Yeah. That's why we set it up where we did. It's time for everyone to say hi again. So yeah. please come come. Be happy. That's that's it. That's what a, what a great say. note to end on, friend. Thank you so much. Uh so for yeah, and for all those people who uh have put in the comments below, where do you hear about these tournaments? This is that chance for y'all. For all those people who, you know, who are, I know are inevitably going to comment, where do I look? I'm going to put it in the description of this video. You just hit that little arrow, you go down, you scroll, boom. Links are going to be there for the Discord. Links are going to be there for this website that you see behind me right now. Links are going to be there for the Twitter page. Every update you need for these. And so Eminence Gaming is not just Punt City, right? Punt City is just the premier event of this, I guess, company, right? I can call it or I, I, premier event. I think I think we're at NPO. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the premier event for this group. So check it out. It's going to be awesome. And it is probably the most exciting thing to happen to the competitive CDH scene as your neighborhood tournament grinder. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> gross. All right. But seriously, go check this out. It's going to be awesome. Um, for those who are enjoying this video right now, please make sure to hit like and subscribe, the usual YouTube stuff. Uh, if you like this channel, <laughs> make sure to go over to patreon.com slash comedianmtg. You get super cool perks like the awesome people whose names you're going to see at the end of this video and uh, stuff like that. Come find me at the event. I will happily say hi. I've signed things. I've taken pictures with people. I literally, I, unless I'm in the middle of a game, like... I'm not a hard person to talk to. So come find me at Pun City. We're going to have a great time. Uh, and if anyone knows me after the, the lights go out, I tend to rip it up with people. We'll so, have a better time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we usually don't have trouble finding a party afterwards. So <laughs> <laughs> Scoots, thank you so much for joining me, buddy. And thank My you pleasure. everyone at home for joining us for this video. Beautiful go check out Pun City. As I said, all the links down got below. Feel, got fight, got Catch you guys pride, later. Got reason. If they Peace. Wanna go, we you know I'm gon' feed him if you coming for me Hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving